Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. I fix appliances for a living and I do a lot of HVAC work. And today I thought I would make a video of what is inside a HVAC technician's service thing. Alright guys, and this is what we got out of my tool bag. This right here, of course wasn't in my tool bag, but I carry it with me all the time. Just a big kneeling pad outside if you're into rocks or if you're in the basement on concrete, this thing works awesome. So of course, every tool bag should have nut drivers. The most common sizes for HVAC appliances for furnaces and ACs are 5 16 and quarter inch. So I got a pair of long shaft nut drivers and a pair of short shaft nut drivers, the 5 16 and quarter inch. Then of course the Phillip and a flathead. And then you got the 11 in one. And that's exactly what it sounds like. You got 11 bits that fit into one screwdriver, also Klein. This works very well. And then a pair of stubbies as well. And all of these Klein tools right here, they're all magnetic, which really helps. And then I got a few stubbies for Phillips and flatheads right here as well. Then I got a small bit holder extension right here with the sleeve that can go over it. That works nice. I also got the flexible drill bit holder that you can hold and flex like that. For some carrier flame sensors, this thing works very awesome to get behind the inducer pipes and stuff. And then once in a while you need a really long bit holder extension like this one right here. And then we got the big inspection mirror right here and then the small inspection mirror as well. And then there's the 75 degree bit holder which is pretty much what it sounds like. You can put a bit in there so it can get into some really tight spaces. This thing works awesome too. I use it quite a bit. And then this one I just picked up at a hardware store. It's a Phillips and a flathead, just angled like that, once again to get into really tight spaces. And here's my Milwaukee drill. I believe this is a 12 volt. This thing is super awesome. It's very powerful. I mean, if you put it into the drill setting and you forget about it, this thing, it just rips it out of your hand. It has a lot of torque for a small little drill. The battery lasts a nice long time. A magnetic tray is also awesome to have. I use my most commonly used bits right here for my drill and I just stick it on the side of my tool bag and just swap them out as needed. I got a Phillips a 5 16 a quarter inch and a 3 8 bit always in this little tray. And then for bigger nuts and screws I use this little set right here that goes all the way up to half an inch. And then there's sometimes some oddball small screws you have their small sizes in here as well. Having a little set like this, a socket set for the drill, does come in very handy. And of course, every good service technician should have a pair of booties to keep clean floors clean. And a pair of gloves can go a long way, save you from a bunch of cuts or burns. Then we got our pliers section. You got the Nipix channel locks, the adjustable. This is good for pipes and other stuff. You got the wire cutters and wire strippers. Everybody has to have one of these. Needle nose is a must. You got the side cutters for zip ties and just cutting wires and stuff. I carry just a small adjustable wrench with me. My other wrenches and pipe wrenches I keep in the van. I just keep the small one in my bag. I have a putty knife to scratch stuff off if I need to. Then I got the fuse puller which works very nice on the cartridge fuses on disconnects. You just reach in there, grab it, and yank it right out. This thing works really slick. And a pair of just normal pliers. Then I got a roll of electrical tape, a roll of Teflon tape, the plumber tape, and then I got a really vintage tape measure that I got as a gift. This is from like 1960s or 1970s. Really small, fits in my bag nicely. So if I ever need to measure something real quick, I do have a tape measure laying on the bottom of my bag. So I actually don't carry a big tape measure, it stays in the van. And of course everybody should have a utility knife. I got a voltage pen. 
And then we have a static pressure probe kit. So it just comes with two pitot tubes and six foot long hoses to check static pressure or air pressure, which can work great if you want to check if an A-coil is dirty or plugged. So this is what they look like. Here's the two pitot tubes, very long hoses. And these hoses, they hook into the manometer right here, which can check gas pressure and air pressure. And right here we have a zoom spot oiler with a nice long spout. It's turbine oil that we usually use to oil motors and shafts and stuff. So that works really nice. I always keep one of these in my bag. I always got a drain cap in my bag that sometimes comes in handy to close off a leaking drain valve or something that we can replace later. Or if the customer doesn't have it covered, I can at least stop the leak. Then I got a few locking caps like this. So new AC systems have locking caps that you have to have a special key like this to open up and then a little cover goes over it. So instead of just the normal locking caps for the Freon pressure ports where you hook up your gauges, instead of taking it off with a wrench or by hand, they put these on and now you have to have a key to open them up. I got a little tube of Loctite, once again for those caps that you put on the Freon ports that helps seal it better. And of course Allen wrenches are a must. I got a little Allen wrench set here. Uh, two brushes. One brush, this one works, it's a brass brush, works well on pilots and also burners. This brush just intakes screens and stuff or a bunch of cobwebs, you can brush them off. I always keep these two brushes in my bag. Two pairs of silicone. Um, it's nice to have a clear and a red. Both of these are high temp. I only have two red ones in my bag right now. And then I have a set of wrenches. Of course, I keep my big wrenches and pipe wrenches inside the van, but the stuff that I use most often, I have them all in one pocket in my bag. And here's a refrigeration wrench. It's a ratcheting wrench that goes both ways. And then you got this hex bit that is used for king valves on air conditioners. Not a lot of air conditioners will have that king valve, but some of them do, where you hook up your gauges and then you open up the valve instead of Schrader's but any AC technician will have one of these in their bag. I always carry spare 3 amp and 5 amp fuses for furnace control boards. I got a lighter. I also in the van have long shaft lighters to relight pilots. And then we got two containers of miscellaneous. You got a bunch of screws and wire nuts and connectors. There's fuses, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in these things. If I ever need some oddball screw, I can look in here. And I got two permanent markers. One is red, one is black. Then a utility screwdriver, a flathead and a Phillips if you flip it over. Then I got this little magnetic tool for if I drop a screw in an awkward position or behind something. It's one of these things, you know, where you could go under, pick that up, get the screw back. This saved me a few times before. Very nice little thing to have. And then of course I got a few pens in the bag as well. And then these scrubby pads, I mostly use for flame sensors or burners. Always have those in my bag. And then a bag of extra wires. Just a bunch of different colored wires, different lengths, different connectors. I use them as jumpers or if I need to replace a piece of wire. Nice to have a bag of wire like that. I've accumulated over the years here. And this I also accumulated over the period of a couple of years here. I got a big Ziploc bag like this, which has more bags inside of it. This one has rubber bands and wire holders. I got another bag in here of spare drill bits, because I lose the ones in my magnetic tray. Whenever I lose one, I just replace it with one of these. Then I got another spare bag of screws. Just various screws, various lengths just in case I need some miscellaneous screws. Another bag of screws. I got a bag of washers. Another bag of rubber and plastic caps. Sometimes inducer motors or collector boxes and furnaces are missing them. These are nice to have, you can just plop one right on. Then the rest is a bunch of hoses for teeing into gas valves and furnaces mostly with a manometer to check gas pressures, uh, mostly to line it up in series. Then there's some plugs in here, 
some anchors. This is just plugs for pipes and caps. And a few other miscellaneous things that are in this bag. I also got these shrink wraps right here, which work nice as wire insulators. So you slide this over a piece of spliced wire, and when you put a lighter under it, this thing will shrink and kind of wrap itself around that spot. So it works a lot better than just taping it with electrical tape. So I have a few of these as well for a more tighter seal. And this right here is a super cool slide rule. And this is used for refrigeration or Freon to recharge a unit that's low on Freon using superheat right here. It shows you step by step how to do that. Or if you have a TXV metering device, then you'd be using subcooling. Shows you how to do that. Primarily though, I use it for the system operating diagnostic right here. This little chart has all the common Freon issues and what the different pressures and readings will be for every single issue. I use this little chart quite a bit, so this is definitely a handy thing to have. They even have a mobile app now on their phones, the super cool slide rule. If you're a service tech and you don't have this slide rule, I definitely recommend getting one. Then I also have this 3 amp breaker right here. It's just a little 3 amp breaker with two spade connectors connected to it. And what I use this for is if I have a short inside my furnace in the low voltage and I'm just trying to track it down, instead of going through a bunch of 3 amp fuses, what I do is just plug this thing in and then when I think that I have the short fixed, I reset the breaker, turn everything back on. If this pops, then I keep looking and basically this saves me from having to go through a lot of fuses. Very nice thing to have. And this right here is a little bypass device I made. Basically just two spade connectors hooked up to a wire nut to bypass like a pressure switch or some kind of safety switch just to see if that is indeed the issue. Sometimes this comes in pretty handy as well. And then I got a drill bit set box. And in the van I have like three of these, three different kinds. But this one just has most of the essential stuff I need. You know, I have my drills and different kind of drill bits. That's what's in there. And then this is a little fish scale. And this is what I've been using recently instead of a large scale for weighing my refrigerant. I actually hang this in the back of my van and hang my refrigerant tank right on the bottom on this hook. And I've been getting much more accurate results using this fish scale over the classic scale that you put on the floor. And then of course a manometer to measure gas pressure. Here's the hose that goes from it. I have another one that's in the van. I usually just use one though. I got a level for whenever you need to level something out. I got a psychrometer, primarily to measure wet bulbs. This thing can also measure relative humidity, dew point, dry bulb. Pretty nice thing to have, digital psychrometer. And one of the most important tools, my meter. I've had a few meters in the past before. This meter is really nice. I've liked this one the most so far. It's a UEI and it has most of the basic stuff you would need for a residential furnace or AC. You don't need anything else more than this. And this thing also has a voltage pen feature as well, so you could use it as a voltage pen by using this tip right here and it'll tell you if you have voltage. Or of course you can classically plug in your leads and just check if you have voltage that way. This thing comes with a thermal connector as well. You got this wire right here. You could put it on a pipe, put a piece of plastic tape over it and measure the temperature of a pipe instead of using a clamp like I got right there. Just hook that into your meter, set it to Fahrenheit or Celsius and see what your temperature is that way. And this pouch also comes with two alligators, which I really enjoy. Sometimes it's nice to have. It's almost like getting a third hand. So your leads, these alligators just hook right up to them. And it's almost like you have an alligator on your lead. It's just a mini, mini alligator clip. I've used these quite a few times and they're really pretty nice. So that comes with this meter. I found it pretty helpful. And I have a few different sizes of zip ties. These are always nice to have in your tool bag. I use them for a lot of different applications. And of course, an essential part of a service tool bag has to have a little box like this with connectors, wire connectors, screws, wire nuts, and stuff like that that you use for wiring, definitely a must-have.
And then my freehand gauges, I usually don't have in my bag unless it's AC season, and right now it is AC season still, so I do have these with me. Sometimes I leave them in the truck, and I do have two separate gauges, one that I use for R22, and then one that I use for R410A. I don't really like to mix the two. And of course you got the clamp right here to clamp onto pipes to measure the temperature, and this just hooks up into your meter as well. Then I usually have two flashlights in my tool bag, one that's just a standard LED flashlight like this that points in one direction, and the other one with magnets on the bottom that swivels. This is nice for furnaces. So you could just clip it on anywhere in the furnace, and you got LEDs that you can flash this way, or you got LEDs that can come out from the top. Also has a magnet in the back here, along with a hanger. So this is a really multifunctional flashlight. I love this thing. I use it all the time. If I ever lose it somewhere, I buy one right away. And then I have two temperature probes for measuring temp drop and temp rise. I usually put one in the return and one in the supply. So these are nice to have too. Both of these are also UEI. And then I also have jumpers. These jumpers are awesome. I use them quite a bit. I got a pair of magnetic jumpers, which work great on thermostats. And then I got two pairs of little mini alligator jumpers like this. These work really nice too. Well guys, and that is what was inside of my tool bag. I hope you found this video helpful. I took the time to find most of my tools that are inside of my bag here on Amazon, and I put that in the description if you wanna use that as a reference, if you wanna get some tools, feel free to use that. If you have any comments about this, or if you wanna add something that I should get to add to my tool bag, please do so in the comments below. I thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.